What's up, B2? Capital G here. Got some Digibug Mayhem for you guys to check out. Got my homie Robbie Akinicism in this duel. He's playing Digibugs, and he's been trying to get on my channel for, like, forever. He's like, Cap, put one of my duels up, and I said, man, bring me something very spicy, and I'll make sure you get on the channel. And he took the challenge and played, well, a lot of people consider Digibugs to be one of the worst archetypes in the entire RFV era. I still lean towards Aromages, maybe Kemi Critters, Digibugs not quite they're definitely like top three worst archetypes and he's facing off against another arc v archetype in cubics uh cubics you know under supported because they're just an archetype from the movie but they do have a lot of explosive plays and i think people are actually starting to realize because cubics are kind of built they're not really built like an arc v deck where a lot of the cards don't actually have like hard ones for turns for instance uh unification doza which is the foolish burial slash armageddon knight kind of monster for the deck and then cubic karma which you can banish from the graveyard to actually search like none of these cards are hard ones for turns and if you actually summon like doza you send unification to the graveyard you link summon with your doza you can banish unification get another doza from your deck and it's kind of like you're you have a floating link material uh at least a few times it kind of becomes like a reborn tengu in that instance so yeah cubics do have explosive plays and you know they do have a monster in cubic nova that's kind of like a bls that does 3,000 burn damage you can get him really high attack levels which you'll see in this duel digibugs probably should lose this duel so again the system starts kind of defensive sets a few cards his opponent just sets a couple and passes back nothing too much here he's gonna go ahead and uh summon that that ladybug and uh he's gonna actually just attack for 500 big damage i like it i like it so his opponent does draw the nova lord and he is not playing around so he activates cubic karma he sends three copies of v-jam to the graveyard you get 800 attack for each v-jam sent to the graveyard so now he's going to gain 24 and he's not playing around as i just said he activates not one but two copies of cubic wave each time you activate a copy of cubic wave your attack actually doubles and your opponent's monster gets cut in half so yeah his opponent's monster is uh yes yeah, 21,000 attack right now and as i said earlier not only does this card have the ability to attack twice but it also does 3,000 burn damage so yeah it's not looking exactly good for a system right here as he's about to get one shot to hell and back but he does have the storming mirror force unfortunately the dark cubic lord he's kind of like he has protection from monster effects monsters that have less attack than he do but uh he's not really immune to spell and trap so that's unfortunate he's gonna summon that howling insect and now we got a little bit of a digibug pop off he is going to go for his first ixie summon and i believe that he's not just going to well no no actually he does a lot of times you see digibugs rank up if you guys don't know digibugs are kind of based on like the rank up system he's going to use his effect but doesn't do anything because uh dark lord is unaffected by that monster effect as it was less than 3,000 attack he's going to do some sends a unification both players take 3,000 burn damage and maybe if he would have link summoned i don't know for like a princess witchling not to well no excuse me dude is light so i guess he would have had to go for something else but maybe he should have gotten that off the board so that he doesn't have to take the damage he's going to use is that a bug emergency it is he gets two monsters back from the graveyard now he has five and check this play out he goes right back for the scaradiator but he is going to actually rank it up for the uh the rank seven and then he goes for the rhinoceros beetle which is the rank or excuse me he went from rank five from skill i gotta repeat this he went from rank three to rank five to rank seven there we go i feel like digibugs actually have and this one does piercing damage by the way i feel like digibugs actually do have a rank up card but I don't believe it's officially called like rank up. I could be wrong about that, but I, I feel like Digibugs like 100% do have a rank up card because they have inherent ways of ranking up with their XCs and then sometimes they'll play that card. It's like, damn it, I was going to say bug emerge. There's definitely, um, a, what's it called in this? There, there's definitely a rank up sort of spell in this archetype. So I'll pause for a quick second and I'll show the deck because some people might actually be interested what a you know somewhat successful version of Digibugs looks like. Hey, it was successful in this duel for people were gonna be like oh cap it was totally successful wins one duel you're saying it's the best deck of the format no it's it's still digibugs at the end of the day but hey winning one duel with digibugs is like winning 10 duels with trick stars let's pause and show you guys what the deck looks like 
So this is what the Digibug deck looks like on paper, and Digibugs are pretty interesting. Even though all the main deck monsters for the Digibug archetype are level 3, their uh, they're exceeds, because they are exceed based, are kind of all over the place. You start with uh, the rank 3, which actually isn't that good, and then you can go to 5, and then you can go to 7. Digibugs have their own inherent way of ranking up, as you saw in the uh, duel, where basically you just detach some materials, and then you just, you know, kind of rank them up inherently. The 5 and the 7 are actually pretty good the five lets you um it lets you spin a defense position monster your opponent has on the field uh back into their deck which obviously is pretty nice and then this one does piercing damage it can also just blow up a monster your opponent has on their side of the field with the highest defense digibugs work on a really kind of weird stumbling like mechanic where if they're put in defense position they can trigger effects and these can range from being able to like get a wolf bark effect where you uh, summon a level three insect from your graveyard or being being able to add being able to you know do various things like that that's why earthquake is in here Earthquake changes all monsters on the field to defense position. Not as good, obviously, since Link monsters can't be put in defense mode. This not only triggers your Digibug's effects, but the Xyz, like, they have additional effects where they'll get effects if a Digibug on your side of the field is shifted to defense mode. They have, like, bonus effects that kick in. So you want to always be shifting your Digibug's to defense mode. You could uh, you could probably run Stumbling. There was this really old deck during the DM era called Clank, uh, Clown Control where people would use, like, uh, you know, Dream clown and stuff like that and they'd summon it switch to defense mode blow up an opponent's monster you see some other stuff that you'll probably see in a lot of insect decks like verdant sanctuary and howling insect these are just cards that let you get more machine monsters brilliant fusion is in here because you know just another way of letting you uh summon more bug emergency is the card that was uh used in the duel that summons two uh digibugs back from the graveyard so it gives you some fodder to go straight into an exceed material the effects are negated but you're going to exceed with them anyways you have um some other cards this was the card i was talking about right here bug signal this is the rank up for digibugs but it's actually a rank down as well because it can actually let you take um the rank five and turn it into the rank three you can go two ranks higher or two ranks lower it's a hard one to return i don't know why they let you go lower like no one's ever gonna go from this the five into like the three you might go seven to three uh to, to the five because the five is good maybe even better than the seven and then you've got a bajillion mirror forces in here just to kind of like slow the duel down and including the dark mirror force which you hardly ever see multiplication of ants is just kind of like a token producing card so you can use that for link summoning mrs radiant or the insect or link monster you tribute um you tribute an insect monster and then you get a couple of tokens so you know it's just uh, a use for there but everything else is somewhat self-explanatory you know pot of desire is just a good draw card digibugs are exceed based so you know a lot of times you'll if you're going to link summon with them they'll go to the graveyard so soul charge kind of makes sense plus you have tributing cards and brilliant fusion so i think soul charge kind of makes sense in here monster reborn i actually don't think would be all that good because like reborning a digibug is not that great even if you were born one of these exceeds if it doesn't have materials it's really not that useful unless you happen to have your bug signal so there's your quick your quick synopsis on digibugs